Nobody likes to fail. From early on, we're taught that failing is bad. Do not fail in school. Do not fail to get into a good college. Do not fail to get a good job. And once you get one, you better not fail there. In fact, it's got to the point where we go to a restaurant and they only have the pink artificial flavor instead of the blue one. What do we do? OMG, Miller's Deli doesn't have the blue packets for my tea. Fail, right? Well, I got a secret for you. If you fail, you will not be killed and eaten by an angry crowd. In fact, I could fail horribly tonight. I could miss all my slide changes, get all frustrated and stand here and stare blankly at you, and chances are you'd still clap when I was done. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you, it might be a, a polite golf clap. It might be a hearty, thank God that's over clap, but you'd probably clap because you know, failure didn't kill me. They might not invite me back to Ignite Detroit, but I, next time I have a presentation, I know that I should do work harder because that is the power of failure. It's how we learn. It's how we get determined to pick ourselves up and do better the next time. I learned this from my boss when I was a junior copywriter, my first job. My first day, I wrote this spot that, that has a farmer trying to trade in a cow for a new car. And they sent me off to the production because they wanted me to learn to be a producer. A whopping three months later, they deemed I was ready to go out and produce my own commercials. I upped the cheese factor to the Ford Magic Show, complete with a magician and an assistant. My first mistake, I talked to one of the senior producers and asked him to recommend a talent for the assistant. He, he recommended a lovely blonde buxom lady. And, you know, I came to find out I don't think he recommended her because of her acting skills. In fact, there was a scene where we needed her to open the hood of a Ford Ranger and put her arm out simultaneously like this. And she couldn't do it. Every time I got this, I said, no, 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 you have to do it at the same time like this. Oh, okay. This went on for a long time. Her acting never did get better. But hey, maybe the magician would save me. Guess what? That didn't work out so well either. You see, I thought I had to have a real magician. So when the casting agency sent me one, I hired him. Turned out, he couldn't act either. In fact, he was so bad, we replaced most of his tricks with fake stuff. We, it got worse. My producer... My, my account guy did stuff that messed up my budget. My director talked me into special effects that weren't special, and the car dealer called and said the car we were using, he'd sold, and it had to go away. I asked my creative director, why did you send me out? Didn't you know I would fail? He did. But he said, you know what? This is one spot in one market for two weeks. It'll be gone and forgotten before you know it. But what you learned you, will make you a better producer in the long run. And you know, he was right. It was better for me. It was better for my clients. And I remember the stuff I learned to this day. I learned that you need to look at the big picture. You need to understand people's motivations. You need to assert yourself. You need to hire good talent, for Christ's sake. And the most of all, I learned that you need, if you're going to be a good boss, to be willing to let people go out and fail if necessary. My failure made me work harder and put ink those indelibly into my brain, those lessons. I learned a lot. So now if you're a, you're a boss, you're a, a leader, let go out and find the right people and let them do their jobs. Don't try and rule by fear. That never works. If people fear failure, they're not going to come up with new ideas. If, they're, if they don't think they're going to fail and pay for it, they'll, they'll make great decisions. They'll do new stuff. And failing causes us to have stronger bonds. If a group of people fails and then figures out how to fix it together, it brings them closer together. And if you can push them to do something they didn't think they could do, it'll make them an even stronger bond. Let's face it, my disaster of a Ford Magic Show spot was not going to be a good spot if I did everything right. As a matter of fact, it was probably better the way it was because it was so bad, it was kind of campy. So remember... It's okay to let people fail. Just don't let them be failures. Trust me, in the long run, we'll be all right. And that is how I ignite Detroit. Yeah! <laughs>